binding international contracts, aviation industry, and education, just to mention a few. Instead, the UDA administration is consumed by quest for revenge, blame games, looking for bogeymen, and scheming to stay in power. While the country starts regressing into its old ways, very early in the life of this new administration. We are calling out President Ruto and his administration. It is time for Ruto and his administration to govern. It is time to lead. But we fear they never will. We seem to be staring at a government that is government in name only. Too early into this administration, we are staring a leader and his team who have little to offer and are so consumed by pride and excitement to realize that they are afraid. We are certainly staring at the consequences of having a regime that lacks mandate and agenda. So far, the Uda government is simply occupying space, not governing at all. In the few weeks of Uda administration, all we see is the bitter partisan politics, making the divide in the country to get deeper and wider. Even the little optimism that was there is quickly giving way to frustration and fear. We remind the president and his team that the country is crying for leadership. The country is crying for leaders that will bring it together and also make the decisions needed to tackle the monumental challenges our people are going through. We remind the president that there is a falseness about him and his administration. There is a lack of empathy. There is a coldness and arrogance that are at odds with the times. In the meantime, we wish to alert Kenyans early enough to significantly lower their expectations. We are on our own if these developments are anything to go by.